again. So um, now uh, finishing off, we'll switch over to CRMO. Um, so this is idiopathic inflammatory disease. The characteristics are going to be multiple sites of apparent osteomyelitis. Pathology and cultures are negative, and it's not responding to antibiotics. The peak uh, age of onset is 10 years of age, more common in girls, and the long bones, particularly the clavicle, are affected. So this can be associated with other uh, symptoms. So you want to check their hands um, uh, because they can have uh, pustules on the palms of their hands and the soles of their feet, and that would uh, suggest that it was um, this pustulosis of palmoplantaris syndrome, which is a total uh, tongue twister, um, but good to think about if you're seeing somebody that has skin issues and what looks like uh, an osteo that's not typical. Um, SAFO syndrome stands for synovitis, acne, pustulosis, hyperostosis, and osteitis that can all travel uh, together with the CRMO. So um, Ferguson looked at uh, CRMO um, and uh, found that there's two genetic syndromes uh, that oftentimes have CRMO as a prominent phenotype. This is going to be your Majeed syndrome, which is an interleukin-1 receptor um, uh, deficiency. Um, and that kind of suggests that interleukin-1 may uh, play a role in the um, disease. So uh, the prognosis, so this is characterized by uh, remitting and relapsing disease, um, but the fortunate thing is that it usually resolves in three to five years. Um, and long term, they typically have fairly benign sequelae. It's just getting them through to that point. Um, so again, a three to five years can be a long time if you're um, not sure exactly what the diagnosis is or uh, uh, when the symptoms are going to resolve. They typically have an episodic uh, fever, but not a persistent one, localized pain and swelling, and tenderness in the area of involvement. Um, they uh, will develop these eccentric metaphyseal lesions with sclerosis and new bone formation. Um, if you're looking for other uh, sites of the disease, you can do a bone scan, uh, and an MRI can help you uh, differentiate if you think that the uh, etiology may be less benign. Um, White blood cell can be elevated, but is also uh, frequently normal. ESR and CRP are oftentimes have some elevation. Um, the biopsy, uh, you know, by definition, is uh, going to be unremarkable. Um, but th again, this is a diagnosis of exclusion. Treatment is typically with uh, NSAIDs, and uh, pimidronate can oftentimes provide symptomatic improvement and uh, hopefully uh, decrease their chance of um, relapsing. Growth disturbances are rare. They can occur, so we monitor for those. Okay, so that wraps things up. Be sure to subscribe for more content and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at OrthoBullets.